I'm actually with uh, Evelyn Bonoan, who is a very recognized chef, and she has her own place here in uh, Virginia. So we have a chance to be talking to her this morning, and briefly I'd like her to tell you the things that she has done in the field of cooking, and you'll be so surprised and so happy about it. Welcome, uh, Chef Evelyn Bonoan, and uh, thank you so much for all your accomplishments in the field and the world of cuisine. Tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, first, in the Philippines, I was, um, I, I used to be an uh, uh, auditor in the Philippines, uh, in the Department of Labor, but I started as a stenographer. Then when I finished my, when I finished my degree, I landed a, a job as an auditing examiner. Mm -hmm. And then when I came to America, which was uh, like what, uh, 1970, 71. I um, worked at the World Bank for almost three deca decades. And then after that, I, um, I thought about going to, to London to study uh, French cooking. But I said I better take the Master Chef degree rather than, you know, the regular uh, uh, short training courses, and I did. So uh, I'm now a French master chef and enjoy my cooking a lot. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how you started in the field of auditing, banking, you, was, you were with the World Bank, and now you are in the field of cooking. So far back as you can remember, when was the first time you tried to do something, like some cooking, or where did you learn this? From your parents, perhaps? Yeah, from my parents. I, I used to help my parents. Yeah, and uh, I'm very close to my parents. And so um, I always watch her cooking. My mom is really a very good cook. And my dad is a master baker. And I, at the time, I never realized I would be a chef. So, uh, yeah, I started cooking when I was uh, really at 10. Actually, I already mastered peanut bread, you know, the, 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 the colored version. Mm -hmm. Just to know a little bit of the, your roots, where do they come from and where do you come from? Your parents we, we, uh, originally we, from yeah, where? Yeah, we came from our, um, uh, Cavite, Rosario Cavite. I was born, but I was born in Cavite City, yeah, in the house of... Uh, uh, the former senator, who's the Nyano Montano. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And why did you come here to the United States? Well, I was um, petitioned by my husband to come here mm -hmm. yeah, in 19, what, 70, later 70. And I said I landed a job in 71. What's interesting is that you've done so much already in the field of bank, as I've said earlier, but now you really are doing this passionately. You're cooking, and really a lot of hard work is involved, and you are really going for it. It's not hard work, you know, it's smart cooking. Yeah. I never get tired of cooking, and I never get tired of um, creating recipes, you know, for the benefit of um, healthy cooking, and I always think about my customers. My, my families, my relatives, when they taste my food, it will nourish them, you know, it will nourish their heart and soul. You know, that's my, that's my really goal in, uh, uh, in specializing uh, in cooking. So you put a lot of passion into your cooking, A lot definitely. of passion. I mm -hmm. never get tired. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. My I know husband, you My husband really, you know, sometimes he wonders, you know, you never get tired. You know? And I said, never. I, and the only time I get there is when I lie down, you know, and it's time to go to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> we have brief moments with you today, but definitely looking forward to a longer interview with you. But first, what is the main focus of your cooking uh, business? Like, you have a restaurant here. What do you want to, to let people know about Filipino cooking? I want to let them know that healthy food is not just uh, bland food. Healthy food can be really an art, and it can be real delicious. And what can you say about the uh, well, the now uh, sprouting restaurants that uh, feature Filipino food, but of course in a different sort of way? Yeah, I, I think it's the uh, they have their own modern way 
of expressing their culinary arts and uh, I, I hope they will you know they will concentrate on the healthy cooking without sacrificing the you know the, the, the real Filipino native uh, flavor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finally, so we can maintain our culture you know mm -hmm. yes finally Evelyn would you like to share uh, Yes, one of your wonderful recipes uh, that would be healthy for the people today during the holidays and every day oh, of yeah, their yeah. lives. Uh -huh. um, I have this one dish that I really created. I will, I created hundreds already, maybe about uh, half a thousand of uh, recipes that I created. I never copy recipes. I make my own. Okay, and one that's really close to my heart is the bintred with salmon and artichoke, which is pancit sotanghon, a contemporary way and a little fusion of French and a fusion of Filipino. And it's, it's, uh, and the reason when I created that is for my husband's uh, diabetic condition. And believe it or not, for two months, he was eating that. And that that's always part of the, of his menu. And that's uh, really, uh, I can say almost cured her diabetic. He's no, he's no longer diabetic at this time. Mm -hmm. It's been two years, and his uh, sugar level is always normal. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Evelyn Bonan, who has dedicated her life to cooking, but uh, with a special meaning, food for health. Correct. Yes, food for health. Thank you very much. And uh, your final message. My final message is, I would like. To, I'm still. I will continue to advocate um, the healthy cooking to everyone, Filipinos and mainstream. Mm -hmm. And it's because, um, you know, um, life is short, you know, and we have to eat really healthy, you know, to, to make our soul and heart stronger. Well, Thank you so much for, for, for this <laughs> lovely interview. Uh, Evelyn Bonon, our uh, chef for life. Thank you. You're welcome.